everyone, my name is Helena Dai. Um, I'm a sophomore in the Emory College of Arts and Sciences, and my major is Art History, and my minor is Global Health. And today I'll be talking about Haddock's ginseng from the um, R.L. Yezi family, also known as Asian ginseng, uh, Korean ginseng, Chinese ginseng, or um, in the Chinese uh, language, renshen. And as you can see, um, it has the fruit has the shape of a man, and um, I'll talk more about that later, about how it's valued by um, the Asian people. So, um, oh. uh, okay, a brief overview first. Um, botanical description, where and how it's grown, traditional uses, um, aside from tradition, what other parts of life is since they used it. Chemistry and pharmacology, what are the active constituents, biology activity, in vivo and in vitro studies, clinical studies in humans, contraindications, um, possible side effects, and toxic um, effects of ginseng, and current use in allopathic and cam therapies. So how is it used nowadays? Are there any medicines derived from it? And conclusions. Okay. So, um, there are different types of ginseng. Um, the American ginseng is Panax clinicifolia, and there's also Siberian ginseng, which is Eleutherochus synticosis. And um, the Panax ginseng is um, in the same family as those two, but obviously they're not the same. And so Panax ginseng is actually only grown in China and Korea, although it has been successfully cultivated in other parts of the world, <coughs> such as Japan, Russia, and um, North America. Um, it grows in very, very specific conditions, which explains why it's so rare and why it's so expensive on the market. Um, it thrives in small patches in climates of um, cold and dry air, and especially in wooded regions where the forest canopy above would give it protection from environmental factors such as rain, sun, and wind. Um, the, mo uh, the soil must be rich and moist, and then it can take from five to seven years to mature, and the plant is a perennial shrub, and it can grow to up to um, two and a half feet in length with an erect stem and a single shoot of flowers that are um, greenish, yellow, or pink um, in groups of 15 to 30. The leaves are thin and finely serrated, and they're clustered in groups of three to five, which grow up to eight inches long. Um, they also have tiny little red fruits, which are glossy and round, and um, the root, which is the most important part used for medicine, is um, creamy or white in color. It has no smell, but the taste is mm, kind of sweet, but it has like bitter undertones. So it's a unique flavor. <coughs> um, there um, has been continuous and historical <coughs> use of ginseng, especially in China and Korea. So there's a lot of folklore circulating around. Um, this one is from the 6th century AD, so you can see how long it's been used over the years. Um, the story goes like this, so um, there's a warrior, uh, a general who was coming back from war, and he stopped overnight to stay at someone's house. However, <coughs> during the night, he heard cries of a man outside, so he went, goes out to investigate, and he couldn't find anything. And over the course of the next several nights, the entire household hears the same voice, and so they go out to investigate, but they can't find anything. And finally, the general um, finally succeeds in tracking down the voice half a kilometer from behind the house, and there he finds, in the middle of the night, is a single ginseng plant. So he digs the root up, and he was very startled to find how similar the root was to the shape of a man. And so he named it Renshin, which means um, man plant in Chinese, and indeed, it has been this very root that has been making the cries in the voice of the man. <coughs> so stories like these, where dreams or um, illusions guiding someone to discover a wild patch of ginseng is not uncommon in China. And it is believed that if you do find a wild patch of ginseng, um, it will bring you luck and fortune. Um, so that just shows how valued ginseng is in the Chinese tradition <coughs> and culture. So um, some traditional uses, um, other than medicine, is that um, it increases sexual potency in males. Um, it is believed to restore yang and balance. In Chinese culture, uh, health is viewed in terms of balance. If you are lacking a balance in one area of your life, the other opposite 
um, balance will be higher, and so you need to restore everything back to homeostasis in order to restore your health. So that is called yin and yang, and yang is the most masculine form, so males, the sun, warmth, and heat, those things are considered yang, and then yin is the feminine form, so uh, coldness, paleness, uh, the moon, wind, <coughs> all yin, and so because uh, ginseng restores sexual potency, it's considered the most yang of plants. And in fact, it's so effective that there are stories circulating about a certain emperor who once paid $10,000 to buy a particularly shapely plant. And what I mean by shapely is that it resembles the shape of a man. Um, I'll get more to that later about why it's so important to resemble a man. But um, it was also used by aristocrats to keep the concubine satisfied. And because it was so expensive, it's commanded respect since it was such a sign of wealth. Also, it's taken before intercourse to um, increase sexual performance and also after intercourse to replenish the sap energy and restore sexual potency. Um, other uses include religious uses. Uh, people used to think that it possessed supernatural powers because it was so effective in treating all the various diseases and it was worshipped and taught uh, generation after generation about its um, effects on the various illnesses and such. Um, so for traditional medicine usage, uh, panax is derived from the Greek word panacea, which is derived from panakos, which means all healing. And it has been um, written and recorded in various medicinal texts since the ancient times. One of them is Shen Ongben Jing, which um, talks about uh, uh, how it invigorates the body and prolongs the life. And so it's not really, it wasn't really used to treat a certain disease. It was more of an overall holistic healing. Um, the resemblance of the group to the image of the man was very important in Eastern cultures. Um, how they decide whether a shape of uh, a ginseng is particularly fine and how expensive it is is by the shape, how similar it resembles a man. While in Western cultures, um, we think more about the genocide content and things like that. Um, again, traditional Chinese medicine, the balance of yin and yang. Um, usually, the uh, ginseng is used as a tonic, which um, is made from ginseng extract. And the ginseng extract is made by um, soaking the ginseng root in water <coughs> overnight, and then having the uh, solution be evaporated. And then the extract would be stored in a tightly sealed container, and no metal can come into it, touch with it, except for silver. Um, for potential life prolonging effects, you can chew a bit of meat or take the extract um, once a day <coughs> on the empty stomach to uh, help the body gain vigor and resilience. Uh, there are also, also decoctions made with other medicinal plants, um, such as ginger, licorice, uh, cassia, plants that would um, <coughs> give it um, more um, individual healing powers than if they were taken alone, and this is due to uh, probably the synergy of all the active constituents mixing together. Um, it's used for so many diseases, from stomach, gas, chest, and lung problems to other um, not so common ones, such as diarrhea, TB, um, cancer, or even leprosy. Um, for uh, the active constituents in ginseng, uh, gisenocytes are a huge factor. Um, they make up a large percentage. And gisenocytes stimulate cardiovascular and central nervous systems. They enhance the physical and mental performance. Um, out of all the gisenocytes, gisenocyte RB1 and 2 is present the most. RB1 is present in 5,000 parts per million, and it has anti-stress, anti-amnesic, and anti-psychotic activities. And uh, gisenocyte RB2 is present in 2,000 parts per million in the root and has hypoconsumed <coughs> properties. Um, another active constituent is panaxin, which is uh, a polysaccharide derived from ginseng extracts. And this has been shown to lower blood pressure, strengthen the immune system, and treat diabetes. We still don't know if these active constituents are truly responsible for all these healing properties. Most likely, it could be the synergy from all the various constituents within ginseng itself. 
and also the active constituents from other plants when mixed with ginseng because that's how it was used traditionally in um, medicine. Uh, biological activity for in vitro studies, um, it has been shown to have anti-carcinogenic effects. Certain ginsenocytes and ginseng ethanol extracts were shown to be toxic toward cancer cells. Um, they could suppress tumors and modulate cell growth. <coughs> Um, they also found that less polar chemical structures have more cytotoxic activity. So the, um, the structure and how it's oriented is also, um, is also um, important in uh, the anti-carcinogenic effects. And also, um, it also had um, immunologic effects. The water-soluble ginseng oligosaccharides were potent T and B cell stimulators, and so they proliferated lymphocytes. Now, um, in label studies were shown to lower hypertension, protect against influenza, suppress asthma, and also had um, antioxidant effects. Uh, the, they, for lowering hypertension, they improved the nitric oxide production and thickened walls in rat models. Um, I found this really interesting. They protect against influenza. Since this is a really um, recent study, um, it was shown that rats that were infected with H1N1 flu virus had um, better survival um, rates than when they were taking extracts of Panax ginseng rather than those who did it. Um, they, uh, Panax ginseng were also shown to suppress asthma. The RG2, which is agent genocide, inhibits mechanisms for uh, lung inflammation, and also it also has uh, antioxidant effects. So another genocide, RG3, inhibited the um, induced oxidative stress. For clinical studies, um, there have been some studies regarding uh, regarding cancer, and so the type of uh, ginseng products that prevent cancer most were ginseng slices, white ginseng tea, fresh ginseng juice. And um, the study investigated the duration of ginseng consumption and types of cancer it uh, prevented, and so they found that the more you take ginseng, the more potent the anti-cancer effects were, and that um, they can prevent certain types of cancer, such as lung, lip, and oral cavity cancer, which are important to smokers. Um, for diabetes studies, the results were not conclusive. They had mixed results. There was a study done on mortality. They found that ginseng decreased overall mortality, but not mortality related to cardiovascular diseases, which was kind of weird considering how it was used traditionally. And for blood pressure, 200 milligrams of daily ginseng extract were shown to reduce blood pressure by five millimeters of mercury just two hours after ingestion. But um, there have been many results that were mixed and inconclusive based on the lack of controlled and really well-designed clinical studies. And that is um, a problem in all areas of traditional <coughs> medicine and plant research. For contraindications, um, it was really difficult to find these potential side effects. Ginseng is really not known to produce any side effects at all. It was um, referred to as the gentle herb, the queen of, um, queen of the herbs because of you know its lack of any side effects. But um, for the ones I did find, the RG3 ginsenocytes suppresses normal physiological responses and they, um, they uh, um, helped with vascular remodeling in rats. And they were, there were also potential uh, cyto embryotoxic effects, which means that um, for the RE ginsenocyte, um, uh, embryos that were exposed to this uh, ginsenocyte had, were, had um, abnormalities, but then when they tested the RC ginsenocyte, there was no effect. Um, for uh, case reports, someone reported long Q, syn Q syndrome would continue lead to arrhythmias and development of rabid arrhythmia in an elderly patient. So there were some contradicting reports, but overall it's very safe. Current use um, is not much different from traditional use because it's used in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, according to a Chinese, I've seen elderly Chinese patients to list <coughs> their use most often in their home, they listed Jameson as um, a home remedy that benefit their lungs and skin problems and also just overall to treat chronic illnesses. Um, ginseng tea and ginseng capsules were also um, used in the market today and that's just um, uh, from you know ginseng extracts and grounded uh, powder of the root. And so conclusions, um, ginseng is a panacea, it is a cure-all and has a long and continuing history. It is highly sought after and expensive because of how rare it is in the specific growing conditions. 
The ducinocytes and polysaccharides are anti-hypertensive, anti-inflammatory, and anti-carcinogenic, and so it has very um, potential uh, uses in like the drug development towards cancer and maybe even of flu viruses and epidemics. Um, however, there are very few well-controlled and effective studies, so more studies should definitely be done on this. But overall, the future looks very promising for this plant. Thank you.